Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of the Fall Guys video game character. The materials we are going to need to make this Fall Guys character main color, white yarn for the face, black yarn for the eyes, stuffing, needle, hook and scissors. We are going to start by making this piece. We will start from the bottom and we, we will be crocheting onto the top. Let's start by making a magic ring. Take your yarn this way. Make a loop around your finger. Insert your hook and grab some yarn. And now we make six single crochet. One chain and start your fist stitch. four five and six now stretch your yarn to close the ring and make a slip stitch in the first stitch we made this is round one now for round two, start with an increase. We will make six increases. One increase on each stitch from the previous round. At the end of this round, we'll have 12 stitches. I am finishing round two, make a slip stitch. All the rounds for this character we are going to finish them with a slip stitch now let's make round three start with one increase and make one single crochet another increase and one single crochet let's repeat the pattern for six times at the end of this round, we have 18 stitches. For round 4, the pattern is 1 decrease to single crochet 6 times. At the end of this round, we have 24 stitches. As we started by a magic ring for with 6 single crochet, we have to repeat every pattern 6 times. I just finished round four i got 24 stitches now for round five the pattern is one increase and three single crochet on the first stitch make one increase and then three single crochet one two three and repeat the pattern at the end of this round we'll have 30 stitches for round six we have to make one in one increase and four single crochet one increase four single crochet at the end of this round we have 36 stitches now we we go for round seven start with one increase and make five single crochet this is the last round that we make increases at the end of this round we we'll have 42 stitches I just finished round 7 and from round 8 to round 30 make 42 single crochet we will make increases I already finished round 30 and this is how it must look now we are going to stuff it but before stuff it press press the bottom a little to get this shape we need it to be flat like this one if we leave it like that it will look a, a little like an a sphere and we don't need that we, we need to be flat so press it like this and then stop Now 
I will stop more later, but now we are going to start with decreases. So now we will make round 31. Make one decrease, insert your hook in the first stitch, then make a loop, insert it in the second stitch, and then make a chain. This is one decrease. We will make one decrease and five single crochet. One decrease, five single crochet. Repeat the pattern six times, just like we did when we make increases. I am finishing round 31. Now make the slip stitch in the, in the decrease we made. Insert your hook here, pull yarn, and close it. Now let's make round 32, make a chain, and start by a decrease. Insert your hook, insert in the second stitch, and make a chain. Now make four single crochet, one decrease, four single crochet. At the end of this round, we have 30 stitches. Now let's make round 33 and you can see the shape of the head. We have to be making decreases until close and it will look this way. When we are making decreases and closing every round, keep stuffing more and more. So now let's start with round 33. The pattern for this round is one decrease and three single crochet, six times. At the end, we have 24 stitches. Now for round 34, the pattern is one decrease and two single crochet. At the end, we have 18 stitches. I am closing round 34. I make a slip stitch and I stuff more. Now let's make round 35. Start with one decrease, like all the previous rounds, and now make one single crochet and one decrease. At the end of this round we must have 12 stitches. Now let's make round 36 and this is the last one, the weaker chain. So start with one decrease and make five more. We, we uh, made on round 35, 12 stitches. Now from those 12 stitches, we will have only six. So make six decreases. I am finishing round 36. Now I just need to make a slip stitch, insert, make a safety chain, stretch and cut here, leave a long thread because we are going to sew it. But if you if you feel that you need more stuffing, do it before closing. I stuff more so now it's time to close it so take your needle and insert yarn and sew it by taking two stitches so insert your needle in stitch and first stitch and then on the second stretch now make the same with the next two stitches And with the last two. Now make a safety knot. High yarn, insert into your needle anywhere.
pull the yarn, cut it. And this is the first part of the body done. Now make this part, this wet part, I think it's like the, the face or the mask, with white yarn and follow these same steps. Start with a magic ring of six single crochet and make until round five. Follow the same pattern that we did, we did here and only five rounds. When you finish, cut yarn and hide, hide this little thread. Insert your needle and put the yarn in here, put it and we hide it this way. So now let's make the eyes so put some black yarn on your needle we are going to make only a small lines to form the eyes so okay put this line where is the joint of every round put it down and make this shape so it's insert your needle this is the center, so let's make it at the same height. So count one, two, and here. In between round three and four, insert your needle there. And I'll make a line, a small line. And I'll make two more lines, the same same size, inserted next next to the where we insert the needle for the first time, and then insert it here and let's make another one and this is the first I done and now you can make a safety knot and make the other eye exactly at the same height I just finished making both eyes. Now let's sew it on the body. This line that looks like the, like an extra stitch. This is the joint of every round. This goes in the back. Now place the mask about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven, seven rounds. And now take your needle with white yarn and I'm going to start sewing down here so insert your needle and now let's sew it Sew it like this, all the piece until reach this part. I just finished sewing the mask. Now let's make this line. Do it uh, with only chains, but I won't give you the quantity of chains because it might change if you um, crochet tighter. I didn't count the chains they must be enough to put it around all the mask okay I think they are enough ok 
Okay, now cut the yarn when you reach the the length you need. And now let's sew it. Put some yarn on your needle. I will start sewing from this and keep sewing it until finished. So insert your needle in the first chain. Place it in the place that you are going to start. I will start right here, but you can start anywhere you want. So let's sew it in the same way that like we sewed the face mask. Continue sewing, chain by chain. And this is how the face mask look. Now let's make the feet. Take your yarn and make five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Start on second chain and make one single crochet and make two more we got this this chain left make three single crochet in this in this chain now make two single crochet And in the last chain, make one increase. We must have 10 stitches. Now close it with slip stitch. And now let's start round two. Make three single crochet. One, two, three. On these three stitches that we made, we will make in the first one, one increase. And the second one, make one single crochet. And the third one, make one increase. Now make three single crochet and an increase in the last last stitch at the end of round two we'll have 13 stitches for round three we will make 13 stitches we will make increases but every stitch do it taking only the half of the chain single crochet and now the next one insert your hook in the middle of the chain and keep doing this until finish I just finished round three now for round four start with three single crochet one two three and make three decreases one let's make the second increase and the other one 
Now make four, four single crochet. At the end of this round, we'll have 10 stitches. Now let's make round five. Make two single crochet and two decrease. One decrease and now make the second one. And I'll make four single crochet. At the end of this round, we have eight stitches. Round six, make eight single crochet. There are no decreases on this round. And this is the last round of the fifth. Six. Seven, eight, and make a slip stitch, one safety chain and good yarn, and now stuff a little. A stuff only on this part of the feet don't stop here because we need to look at like a little flat from here and make the second feet following the same steps and i finish the feet this is how they must look now let's make the arms when we finish the arms we are going to sew four pieces so take your yarn and make 10 chains. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now let's make a circle. Take your yarn this way. And here in the first chain we made, insert your hook to make a slip stitch. Make a chain and make one single crochet and keep making single crochet until you finish the round. We must have 10. I just made 10 single crochet. Now close it with slip stitch. This is round one with chains and 10 single crochet this is round one now make 10 single crochet until reach round 10. i just finished round 10 now for round 11 start by making one increase and then make nine single crochet at the end of this round we must have 11 stitches for round 11, make one increase and 10 single crochet to have at the end 12 stitches. I just finished round 12 and we got 12 stitches. Now let's make the fingers. On this part, we are going to make only three fingers and the thumb will be here or on the other side, depends if it's right hand or left hand. So we will make three fingers, we have 12 stitches, so we will take three, I mean four stitches for each finger. So make one chain, one single crochet, and make the other one. We are going to take two stitches from this side and two from the other. So now count one two and in the second stitch counting from the end insert your needle there and make a slip stitch 
make a chain and start making single crochet we are going to work with these four stitches we will make slip stitch we are um, like crocheting like in, in rounded without uh, separating the rounds another one and I think we're done now make a slip stitch by taking the half I mean you don't have to do it in the next stitch do it in the stitch that is in front so cross make a slip stitch and then pull yarn and cut this is our first finger now let's make the second one so insert your hook but not in the next stitch but in the same that we used to make the first finger so this way the fingers won't be too separated make a chain make one stitch here and make on the next stitch and now insert your hook in, in the other side and make the same count two stitches remember we are working four stitches for each finger so we must have four stitches left to make the, the third finger let's make a slip stitch a chain and start making single crochet To go to the other side is easier if we make the stitch inserting the hook this way and not from this side so you can do it crossing and make the single crochet so keep making more single crochet until you reach the same size when you reach the same height of the first finger make a slip stitch remember inserted not in the next stitch but in the stitch that is in front slip stitch make a chain and cut now we have second finger let's make the third and you have this little thread just push it inside insert your hook not in the in the first stitch remember where is the other finger make one single crochet and let's do the same but this time we don't have to cross to the line that is in in front of this one so just keep making single crochet now we have to go from this side to the other now you can do the single crochet from from here So insert that. 
Now let's make it more. And keep doing more until reach the same same size. Now I reach the height that I need. Now insert your hook in the line that it's uh, in front. Pull yarn and make the same. Now we are going to hide the yarn as we always do with needles. So insert it, insert on the second, and pull it to return the shape it has. Now let's do the same with the last one. And hide this yarn too. And now there are my three fingers. Now let's make the thumb on this side. Insert your hook. We will uh, make it here. And make one single crochet. We use four stitches to make the other fingers. For the thumb, we will use five. I made four. And now we make another one, so I have five. Keep making single crochets around. I think we're done. Now make a slip stitch by taking the stitch from across. Cut the yarn and we are going to hide it just like we did with the other finger. Hide this yarn too, and this is our right hand. Make uh, the other hand, but now make the thumb on this side to make the left hand. And I just finished the second hand, and it's tough a little. They must look this way. This is the the joint for every round, and as you can see, the thumb is in the left side and this one is on the right side but before sewing these arms let's start by sewing the feet so 
take your yarn and needle and place that first foot. Try to put it in the center from first round to second round and there. Place the first foot there and at the same height to the left eye to the left foot. So insert your needle and Try that the foot don't lose its shape. I mean this circle. Okay, so remember it's the same, the same height of the eye. So place it here and start sewing just like we saw the the face. Keep sewing on to finish and then the other foot too. I just finished sewing the feet. This is how they most look. Now let's sew one of the arms. This is right arm. Let's sew it. Mm has to be longer than the body just a little longer so I'm going to put it on this line insert your needle here and now it's ready and it starts sewing finish sewing this arm and then the other one at the same height count the rounds and sew it exactly the same and I just finished sewing the arms this is how it must look so your full guys character is finished if you like the video please give me thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and comment if you have any question about the process